Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Kia. I'm Aaron. And in our channel, we talk all things real estate, building wealth, and finance. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Burr method. Yeah, the Burr strategy. So it's buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. Okay, so this is a strategy you may have heard a lot about um, if you are into real estate or if you are getting into real estate investment. So today we're gonna break down each part of the bird method and how um, we use the bird method along with actually how it works. So buy, so let's talk about buy. What is buy? So obviously you have to buy real estate, right? Um, but with the bird strategy, you wanna buy it at a certain point price point because you wanna make sure that you have enough equity in the deal to be able to buy, rehab the property, as well as refinance the property. So when you're buying, you wanna make sure you're buying for well below what market value is if the property, if the property was fixed up. Right, so you wanna make sure um, you look at the comps within that area and see um, if the house in that area that you're intending on purchasing is well below uh, what the houses are selling for. And then once you um, fix up the house, it's going to um, appraise at a much higher value than that. So let's talk about the next R, which is rehab. Yeah, so with rehab, it's really important. It's probably is the most important part of the deal. So with buying and rehabbing, my rule of thumb usually is that the buy and the rehab has to total up to equal about 70% of what the ARV or after repair value is. So an example of that would be, I buy a property for $30,000. It costs me $40,000 to get it fixed up and it has to be worth at least $100,000 once it's fixed up as the ARV or after repair value. Okay, so we have buy, rehab, and then there is the rent part of the BRRRR strategy. So what is rent? So rent is the easiest thing, right? It's just once you got the property fixed up and it looks good, you can rent the property out. So rent it out to a tenant that's gonna be able to pay you um, the market rent for the property, um, just so that you have some type of income coming in on the property. And um, the way we use the bird strategy is we like to purchase multifamily units. So basically what a multifamily unit is, it means that more than one person lives in that unit. So you can have a duplex, a triplex, a quadplex, and you can have more tenants than that. So we try to buy um, properties that have at least, um, where we can at least rent it out to two or more tenants. So we, we like to make sure, we like to use the multifamily because it helps make the property more profitable. So the property usually cash flows really well, meaning that once the rent comes in and we pay all of the expenses that go along with the property, we're usually able to take home a decent amount of money from the property. So buy, rehab, rent. Now we're on to the refinance property, which um, we believe is the most important part of the birth strategy. Yeah, so with the refinance, and a lot of gurus I'm, I'm watching on Instagram now, they're all kind of debating about the whole birth strategy, whether is it the right thing to do? Is it, does it make sense? I can tell you from experience, we've done a lot of them and we built a huge portfolio. Um, so the refinance portion is, in my opinion, the most important part. Because up until this part, you've been, bought, you bought the property, you renovated the property and you rented the property out on a temporary loan or a private loan. Or some people say hard money loan, which are all really the same thing in my opinion. So refinancing out of that temporary loan. So with the hard money loan, it's usually about 12 to 13 months where it's interest only. So you have to actually refinance out of that into a long-term loan. So the refinance portion of it is to refinance into your more traditional 30-year loan. That 30-year loan usually allows you to re the cash out refinance 
at about 75% of what the value of the property is. So in the example we gave with the property being worth a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, right? It'll allow you to get a loan for $75,000 and you'll pay off the 70,000 that we talked about, the 30,000 to buy, the 40,000 to get it fixed up. That's 70,000, you take a loan out for 75,000, you pay off that $70,000 loan. There's usually some, um, there's always, some costs for the loan, right? So you got origination fee, you usually have, may have to pay some discount points to get a lower interest rate. So that $5,000 in between is usually enough to cover that. And then anything over top of that, you can either take home, you can take home with you. Uh, but what that refinance does is allow you to get into a 30 year loan where you have a tenant paying you money, you pay off, you pay the mortgage every month and whatever is left over, you get to keep for yourself. And I also want to add when you refinance on a loan, you're refinancing at the value of the home now because you've already um, done the renovation. So when you purchase the when you purchase the house originally, it appraised for 30,000, but when you put all the work into it, you're refinancing at the value of the new home. Uh, well, not the new home, but you're reappraising at the value of all of the work that you put into the home. So it's going to appraise for way higher than you actually paid for the home. Yep. And then the last part is repeat. Yeah, repeat is probably another, it's, it's really another really important part because the example we just gave, you know, in, in, in the pros of, of the birth strategy is that it doesn't take a lot of money to actually do the birth strategy. You know, you need to have usually 10% of the overall deal to be able to do the birth strategy. So with the example we gave, the overall deal was $70,000. You have to put down 10%. So that's $7,000 that you have to put down. It's not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Typical real estate, when you're buying an investment property, you have to put down, you know, 20 to 25%. So in that example we gave, you know, you would be putting down a lot more money than what you're putting down in the birth strategy. So that's definitely a pro. The cons to the birth strategy is that you're extremely dependent on a contractor. Um, so the contractor has to do their work in the budget that you set forth. Within that budget. Right, for you to be able to make the deal work out. Um, and if you can get a good contractor, if you can get a good contractor, you can really be able to take advantage of the bird strategy and keep repeating the bird strategy over and over again and building up a, you know, a really good Beautiful. rental portfolio. All right, so just to break it down, the bird method, um, buy, you want to buy at a um, very low price of what appraises in that area, um, rehab, basically get a contractor in and rehab the home so that you can appraise even higher, then you want to rent, find a tenant to um, rent the property to, so you want the, the cost to um, cover all of the costs of the property, plus make a little bit of money off of the property. Then you want to refinance, which basically is um, refinancing the home, getting that house appraised for way higher, and then getting a more traditional loan um, in order to um, cut down expenses and make money off that property. And then you repeat, which is do it all over again to um, make money um, and build a portfolio. So thanks for watching. I hope y'all learned something from this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Aaron James underscore where you can get more information on real estate. And make sure you guys follow me, Kia James underscore. I share a lot of entrepreneurship content and we travel back and forth to Virginia and we show a lot of what goes on behind the scenes with our properties. So I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace. Bye.